How you doing, folks? Welcome to the SF23 at Aragon. What a little circuit. Did enjoy this in the F3 last season when it first came out. This one's a little bit harder to manage. Obviously, we've got a bit more uh, go-go juice under our right foot. So uh, let's crack on with the fast lap. Right then, fast lap done and dusted. Let me show the rules tab. Always have a read of this rules tab if it is here, because it'll basically tell you how to get off tracks. And we don't want off tracks, so knowing how to get them, we can avoid them, hopefully. Uh, info tab, we are using the fixed eye racing setup, 89 Fahrenheit track temp, so quite warm, and a moderate use of 44% is what I always use for these guys. Now the lap I'm going to show you. We did nip into the 37s, which was rapid, um, but we were low on fuel, so that didn't count. So I'm actually showing, showing you lap 14. We pitted for fuel, so it got like a lap fuel gone, basically. So I've got quite a full tank i think nine gallons in this it's a 138358 so i think mid to low 38 as well be sitting the open setup i expect to be low 37s if not into the 36s this has a very tricky corner what corner is it you ask it is turn eight and nine this thing understeers like a boat through there i don't know what it's such a stiff chassis it must become like completely like one wheel drive it does not go around there so really take your time through it i will mention it on the guy but really take your time through it otherwise you just plow off and you're gaining off tracks for fun so bear that in mind otherwise what else do i chat about discord olap be up to replay file uh the link for discord will be down the stairs and all of them will be on discord for you so you can see exactly how i've done this lap so that should be very very useful to you also using garage 61 which links are downstairs as well garage 61 is an online telemetry tool where you can compare lap time so you can have a look at my telemetry compared to your telemetry and see where you're losing or gaining time against me so it's very very useful these guides not affiliated with them just think it's a very very useful thing to have to at our disposal to try and get a little bit quicker in a nutshell what else um should be good around here as i mentioned i did like it in the f3 when the f3 came around here last season it was a very very nice circuit the push to pass is probably going to be better down this big long straight you can see on the screen actually i wouldn't use it out of this last hairpin because it's it, this traction limited anyway so having the extra horses isn't going to matter through the infield is pretty pointless anyway so that's probably your best bet we do very closely hit v max so if, if you can get on it early you should be able to get an overtake but be careful down this hairpin the amount of times i locked the brakes up was ridiculous so bear that in mind otherwise i think that's enough to be waffling let's crack on with the breakdown lap Right, this crazy thing around here is great fun, but can be tricky. So turn one, we are braking earlier than we expect at the 100 meter board. Turn one is deceptively slow, so bear that in mind. Brake nice and heavy in a straight line. Try and kill that potato curve thing right there, but obviously avoid it. You can cut that corner quite nicely, but do not run too far wide on exit because there will be an off track. These two corners are absolutely fantastic, absolutely flat out. Just hug the curb as best you can and then use all the exit curb here. Just stick, stick some tires on it and then where the cones start on the left hand side, absolutely flat out, no lift. I watch the sausage curb on the inside and then change up to on exit absolutely flat out through there great great fun bring the car over to the right hand side now and then as you see this curb and you sort of go past it you want to brake nice and easy in a uh, in a nice gentle curve so don't break it 100 because you will lock up this corner is very very satisfying when you get it right so a little tickle of the uh, red sausage curb right on the apex and a little bit of running wide there surprisingly that wasn't an off track not sure how but i'm going to continue anyway 
around these uh, sort of right handers that are quite open, bring the cart over to the left hand side and just after this white line as we start uh, passing it, break in a nice straight line on the actual curb here. Again, break all the way into the apex, seem to get a good rotation on the apex there and you get on throttle nice and early. Do not run wide here as well because there is an off track but that was okay. Nice little straight here, so should be some dive bombs into this, and this is the most awkward place on the circuit. So before the 50 meter line, get your braking done in a straight line, and then ease it into the apex. Be very cautious through here about people dive bombing and locking up, going straight on. This one you need to take it so slowly. Try and cut the curb and try and get that inside tire actually doing some work on the left hand side, and try not to understeer wide, as you can see there. Try and get the power down and stay on the right hand side for this very fast flat out left hand here. It's great fun through here, but be careful about the rear end stepping out if you are a few laps in. All the tires are cold, so coming up now keep it on the right hand side here because the braking zone appears very very quickly as soon as that curb starts there we want to stand on the brakes and brake on the curbing as well nice corner this you can take a lot of speed into it but be careful about running wide so a little clip of the curb there and feed in the power nice and slowly we do get a little bit of snap oversteer through here so be very very cautious this one is very nearly flat out you see a little bit of counter steer then a little bit of lift to prevent running wide so be cautious kind of limit on the grip there just before the cones start straight in front of you brake nice and easy and again really slow it down for this one Clip the curb on the right hand side and then keep turning right as best you can to really open up this last corner in this complex. We need to get a good exit through here so try and kill the potato curb again but be careful about running wide. You can use a bit of the curb but not too much. Full throttle out of there will be the best thing because look at this straight. So this is probably the good opportunity to use a bit of the boost as well to try and get your overtakes. We don't quite hit VMAX so this is where the boost will be very very uh, very very useful i think max is 186 i don't think we quite get there but with that we will be start the curbing there break in a straight line i try and avoid the curbing because it was locking the front so bear that in mind really slow the car down really slow 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 through here you don't want to you don't want to try and push this corner you just want to get a smooth application of the throttle about now you see i'm very tentative on the throttle because as well this corner is not flat out so we've no point nailing it because we've got to sort of ease up for this corner as well but luckily this last corner is absolutely flat out that is that that section just there we've gone through is going to be a lot of people spinning out so make sure it's not one of you guys and you can get some freebies through there but be careful of dive bombs as well into the hairpin that is a very quick lap of aragon very very good fun here sorry about the voice i'm suffering from a bit of cold at the moment but that's us in a 138.358. I think I'll go a little bit quicker, but as I say, surviving around here is going to be a crucial thing, particularly because of turns 16, 17, and 18, and also the turns uh, 8 and 9, that really awkward sort of right, and then that really hard hairpin left that's uh, downhill as well. This car does not like that. Very stiff chassis. So as soon as we cock a front, front wheel in the air, we lose half our turning grip. So that's where it really suffers this car. Otherwise, hope you did like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe to that lovely YouTube stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.